Nobody told her to say nothing. You know that person that cuts into your conversation. You like to say their name. I don't want to say their name because then they're going to cut my bitch off. to say it, I gotta say it, they don't like you calling them out, like, okay, so, Bishop Mingo told them, you can't go to no Bible school, no Bible school can't go to, can't, can't, um, <clears throat> it's not for you, or however they, have they said something, and y'all just never said nothing, y'all was like, oh, okay, now, take it like, oh, if I say something, then it's going to be, they don't want to say disrespectful, I will be disrespectful if I say something, so they're not going to say nothing, because they know that's not disrespectful, so they want to say, oh, I didn't question my leader, well, fine, you ain't question your leader, and neither did you. I, I looked at her and said, you don't know what I did. And she sat there and she just looked at me. You don't know what, what I did. Don't come don't come in my face talking about nothing. About he did the jig. Maybe he saw me in the church not questioning, but you don't know what I did at home. I said anything came to me that I did not understand, I asked questions. Yes, I did. I was Miss Question. If anything, they got, they got tired of me asking questions. Now, maybe in the church, they would tell me to do stuff, sit down, or you ain't, we, you ain't doing this, or you ain't doing that. Maybe so. Maybe as a child, I didn't question them. But when I became adult, it was a different story. And I was not disrespectful. Y'all would have been disrespectful. Because y'all didn't say nothing. So when they, you know when they get on the floor, they say, he did say this. Yeah, they did say that. They did say that. I was like, really? I said, well, I can only talk for myself. And then Bishop was like, Bishop was like, well, I don't know where you was and all that. What, 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 what do you mean you don't know where I was? Okay. That, that just goes to show how much you knew. Because I ain't been in the church all the time. I said, y'all forgot all the times that I backslid and I was out the church. I say, there's a lot of things that y'all probably don't forgot. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that did go down, but it didn't go down with me. It's like I said, Bishop Mingo ain't never told me not to get no TV. I remember being in our neighbor house, and the TV was going off, and Bishop was in. Bishop was right there. Television. I was saved. I was sanctified, right? So I guess, I guess, I backslid, right? I guess at that particular stage, I must have backslid because I was watching TV, right? So that light is mad bright. Hey, Google, turn on blue light. Sure, changing oh, the light okay. to blue. Is that better? <laughs> so, I guess I had backslid in because we wasn't, um, how can I say? Because I was watching TV in Aunt Mates' house. And Bishop Mingo was right there, and my grandmother was right there. They wasn't watching TV. And I had the television playing. Here's the thing. This is why I say to them. Y'all don't know the type of life I had with Bishop and Mother Wilson. Maybe 
y'all had y'all type of life or she said this to y'all and, and y'all said and y'all said this to her i don't know i can only talk I was like, you won't let me get in here? But it must have rained while I was while I was somewhere. I don't know where. On the train? Because it didn't rain none while I was waiting. Well, I think the man came and said it was raining. He said, oh, it's coming now. It's coming now. And I think I felt a little drizzle. <laughs> hey, Google. Turn on yellow light. Changing the light to yellow. Okay, that's a little better. Man. So, you, um, hmm. So, you, So, you saying, whatever you did, you did, right? Whatever you said with Bishop, you said with Bishop. Whatever Bishop said with you, Bishop Mingo, I mean, you said with her. Whatever you say with Bishop Anderson, now I understand, then God didn't allow me to say it, but I can say it to you guys. Now I understand why. House of Prayer is at the stagnated state that they're in. Of course, they disagreed with the teaching that Bishop Mingo said. They didn't like what she said. They didn't like what, what Mother Wilson said. So they came to their decisions that, oh, if I run this church, it's going to be this way. When I become pastor, there's going to be some changes in here changes because you become pastor? Are changes because you become bishop? See, once they became in leadership, you know, they start throwing their authority around. They forgot all about that God is supposed to be the leader of their lives. That God is the one that's supposed to be in control of their life. So they forgot all about that. So now they realize, oh wow, I got some flock here. I got some people here. I can um tell them what to do. Whether I got my children ain't listening to me. So let me take this flock and let me make them listen to me. And if they don't listen to me, then they ain't going do things in the church. They not gonna be a part of the church. I'm not gonna let them do this. I'm not gonna let them do that. I mean, the Bible study was crazy. I mean, it wasn't crazy, like crazy, like loco. It was more so crazy, like, like, um, you know what? I don't want so I leaned over to um to Evangelist Rose. I told Evangelist Rose, I said, see, that's why I don't say nothing. Because every time I say something, they want to cut me off. They don't want to hear what I got to say. They don't, they because they feel like, they feel like they know everything. They don't want to listen to me because Bishop Mingo was my aunt and Mother Wilson was my grandmother. So they want to keep in their heads that, oh, I knew more than you. Who is you? You came in after the fact. Excuse you, Ella Robinson. You came in after the fact. You came in my family. You came a part of my church. You ain't know nothing about no house of prayer. If if my uncle, which is James Isle Wilson, if you didn't get into no contact with him and felt like you wanted to name, name, name him and be a part of his life, you wouldn't know nothing about no house of prayer. So now because you got a little idea about House of Prayer, now you feel like you know more than me. And then you want to tell me about me. I told her, I said, you don't know what I did. 
she sat there with that face. I could tell she was mad, but I don't care. Be mad. Don't let me have to rebuke the devil on you. But see, I, 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 mm, how can I explain this? When the devil actually shows up and see the devil is show up in people, right? But here's the thing. And, and how, how they show, how he show up will determine whether or not you rebuke him. Now that the devil shows up in a person. Now, I'll give you an example of what I mean. Somebody could want to, somebody could be in your presence. You save and they don't save. They could be in your presence. And they want to go smoke. They'll get up and they'll be like, you know what? I had enough of this church. I had enough talking about church, talking about God. I got to go smoke a cigarette. Okay. I know they got the devil in them because they got to do what the devil say do. So they go on. So I ain't got to rebuke them. But when they turn around and say, hey, come on, let's go have a smoke together. What? I know the devil is a liar. Then you rebuke him. Satan, I rebuke you right now. Because now you trying to influence me. You're trying to tempt me. And that's the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When the devil came to tempt him. And so cast yourself down and worship me. Because it say that he would keep his angels charge. He would give his angels charge over you unless you dash your foot against the stone. And what Jesus said, Satan. Wait a minute, what he said? No, now you shall not live by bread alone. This is another one he said. Satan, get thee behind me. So you got to know when the devil show up what exactly you're supposed to do, you know? So, okay, with that being said, I'm going to, I guess that's it for tonight. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. And just like I said, I'm going to put in this one. I'm going to put in this video. And um, link the audio. Uh, oh, I got a, I got this, this, I got this, this blouse. Maybe I wear it Sunday. I mean Saturday, cause I gotta wear it with something in order to, in order to um. Yeah. I mean to match my sneakers and I think I could have sworn I had well let me just just
it is, ooh, it must be about 20 pounds. I don't know if y'all saw how um, straight my, how curly my hair was. You see how this hair doesn't hold a curl. That's the only thing I don't like. It doesn't hold a curl. It would keep a curl in there for about, I'm trying to think. I think when I went to church, it had it in there. But by the time I got back home, it was gone. Alrighty then. Okay, so that's what this says. What light is this? Yellow? Right? I say yellow, right? Okay, so I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a pleasant and blessed night. Keep the peace. So be within your spirit. It be within your soul. Be within your mind. Okay? Keep your mind on Jesus. Even while you sleep. If you keep, if your mind be on Jesus when you go to sleep, he'll keep you in perfect peace till the next morning. And when you wake up in the morning, your mind will be still on him. Good night.